Alrighty, things are getting a little more interesting out here at uh, site number two. Uh, the location where the the in situ uh, terminal end of the dimetrodon spine was found, like right back off over there. And I'm scouting around looking for some new spots. There's quite a bit of material here and it's pretty well distributed. Uh, so I've been going pretty slow, but let me show you uh, kind of the spot I just stumbled onto here. All right, this bit of Dimetrodon sail spine. This was found right up there. And then these other little bits of bone, that's a bit of probably a tip of sail spine that may be a bit of rib fancy these were found right here on this slope where my uh, pole is and so the natural progression of things start tracing uphill looking to see if you can find a source where they are coming out of and looky there there's a piece there, there's a piece of bone right there. So something is eroding out from right up in here somewhere. Because that little stack of rocks is my current marker, so something right there, something right here, that's going to triangulate right up into that area there. So hopefully there is more they're waiting. Now, let's see exactly what I've got here. sure yet what that is that is definite sorry that's not gonna focus that is definitely bone maybe once we clean it off get a better idea what it belongs to very cool I hope the rest of it is up here somewhere Camera don't like to focus. There we go. Oh, I did not do my search on this little hill well enough. Where did that go? I, as I was walking down, I just saw something. It's a problem. Sometimes you see things from one direction and you can't see them from another. There you are. I see it now. Right there. And there's another piece right there. Let me swing around here. Yeah. That's two more bits pointing to something eroding out up here. Alright, I gotta keep on looking. Yeah, and the erosional finds continue. We've 
got another bit of bone here and another bit of bone right here and there was one more right over here somewhere where did I see that right there so pink marker right there that was the last uh, point up on the hill and I'm going to guess these probably came out of that layer separation right there. Everything seems to be coming from there. Let me show you. Okay, so we've got some of these pink flags here where I found stuff. Obviously the ones down here have washed out. You got one up on the hill there. You've got right around the corner, you've got one there. Those see, those are on the same level. When you follow that level around over here, we get to this marker. This marker is where we found the spine uh, tip in situ. So that looks like it's probably a good layer to possibly excavate on. Oh, let's come over here. Let's see, is there anything? Not see anything else below this. sat down on this one. There's another piece right there. Awesome. Well, alrighty. See, let me move these out of the way so they're safe. Knowing me, I would probably step on them. It's quite a growing collection. Okay, so. Finding float, let's look up slope. Where is this washing out from? Nothing is jumping out of me right this second, but that doesn't mean it's not here. May have to put eyes on it a couple more times. Maybe another rain, wash something, and cover something. We'll see. I don't know. Let's keep going on down the line. We are out here exploring a different area of, a, of exposure on the same Permian site. And walking around looking to see what we can see. And check this out. Look at these two bone ends. Where's my hand for scale? 
These are nice size, way bigger than the stuff we've been finding so far. And I'll walk you over here, looking at this exposure for more. And there's a piece right there. And we've got another piece weathering out right there. Now these are pretty well scattered. But it looks like we've got a new horizon to look at. We carefully checked the surrounding ground to ensure that the bone wasn't getting bigger underneath the soil and made sure that the bone was loose and ready to be removed without fear of causing damage to it. After the pieces were recovered, they were wrapped in an aluminum foil jacket for transporting safely back to the vehicle. Then, we went to collect the surface bone pieces and mark their locations so that we could come back and check more thoroughly at a later time. One unique aspect of this third site is that the ground is littered with small green specks. They range from thick to thin, and some are long, but many are roughly square in shape. The color doesn't come across well on the camera, but they all have a beautiful jade green color and have an appearance of old fire glazed pottery. In fact, when I first reached for the first one, I really thought that this was a bit of broken pot from some long forgotten homestead but they are most definitely scales from an extinct Permian fish. This projection and the corresponding notch are what proved to me they were definitely fossils. Unfortunately, there were several varieties of fish with this scale shape, so I can't determine exactly what it comes from.